We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Today, we're going to be showing you something very special or very, very pretty to my eyes. Uh, I am a bit of a... I love Art Deco. I always have. Um, it's just something that really interests me. Uh, and, and this mod is about as, for me, is about as Art Deco as you can get styling wise. Now, uh, it's by Art and Mod. And as the mod doesn't actually have a name as such. It's just their latest creation. So a mod by Art and Mod. It's a DNA 60, single 18650. And at the start here now, what I'll do is I'll get out the way the process for buying one. My first bit of advice would be to go to the Facebook group. If you join the Facebook group, you will then see other people that own the mod. You can speak with them, get advice from them, see the different materials and all the different options and speak with the mod maker. That's always the best part of joining the Facebook group. So what will happen is that uh, on the following website, uh, this one here, which uh, I'll just call FUMO, um, you will, you'll see you're in, there is an art and mod section. Now there will be at some point, there'll be a link that goes here. And when you click on that link, it's going to take you to a Google Doc where you fill out a form. Uh, and in this form, and you can see pictures of the actual mod there, uh, in that form, you're going to see all the different types of wood that are available, uh, the pricing, the buttons, the plates. It, it, you can specify everything for the mod here. You fill that out and you can see here we've got shipping costs, 30 days, you've got a 30% deposit. If you don't put a deposit down, then you've got a three to four month wait on it. But uh, all that is available through that website and then that Google Doc. But I would strongly advise that you join the Facebook group first. Now I do understand that there is a little bit of um, jumping through hoops perhaps to get a hold of this. Um, and I'm not sure when the link will actually go up on that website, I don't know for a fact. That's why I'm, once again, I'm saying, go and try and join the Facebook group and find out more information that way. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is, before I go down and show you the one I have here, is uh, the, the guys actually gave me access to a, a video that they did, which just gives you lots of, the whole process of a mod being made, it's actually two minutes, I think it's two and a half minutes long, it goes on for a little bit, but I do believe it's worth watching so you can see what is actually going in to making one of these. So here we go.
So my mod arrived in this little box here. I think this might be cork, or it's supposed to look like cork, it might just be paper. Anyway, uh, we'll open this up, we've got a flip on the front, a little bit of protection there, take that out, and one mod. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I think this has got, listen now, I've had this for uh, two, three weeks now, and um, I have just cleaned it up, so Anything you see on this, uh, scratches or anything like that, there were, that was me. This was mint when it arrived, but uh, yes, it has been used. If you see me on Facebook or whatnot, you'll have seen the photos. I've been using this nearly every day with the Har RTA. So, one mod, single 18650, and it is a DNA60. This is Coca-Bola wood that you see here. The mod is about 75 millimeters in height. To here. You're looking about 47 millimeters out to the widest point here to here and just picking the mod up you can then see that this is a side-by-side -side mod just to give you a look in there. So this is a side-by-side. -side. The 510 is their own. This uh, 510 is done in 316 stainless steel and we have an adjustable 510 pin inside there. As far as it goes for height, uh, for, you know, for getting an atty in here, this is for 22mm atties. You're not going to put anything bigger than that in there. I wouldn't advise it. 22mm atties only. And once you've got your atty in there, from the base plate, the 510, up to here, you're actually looking at about, I think it's about 18 millimeters, uh, just from here to here, here. So you're you're nearly always going to have your atty sticking out past this part here. So let's get in about this. So once again, it's their own 510, 316 stainless steel. Uh, we have their, we've got their own battery tube running through here. And this is the battery cap that I got with mine. They are actually changing the battery cap, which I'm rather happy about. Uh, it's, I should have a photo here that I can put up. But uh, so this will be, they've redesigned this, but this is the one I have with mine just now. The threading on it, I have no issues with the threading on this battery cap. Uh, it's nice, thick, chunky threading, so you're not spinning for ages. It doesn't actually say anywhere uh, what direction the battery should go in. There's no positive up or negative symbols in there, which is a bit of a... Yeah, that's something I always grumble about. I'm going to take one of these uh, Ohmberg batteries. Uh, I've been using these. They sent them on. They're actually... I'm getting on okay with them, but uh, these are going to go positive down. And just stick my battery cap back on. No issues with this, just in there, a few turns. Now, as far as the wood goes, once again, I have Coca Bolo. Uh, and I'll just let you have a look at this. Now, obviously, I have just cleaned, this has all just been cleaned up and waxed and all the rest of it. Uh, I have i don't really have any complaints to give you on the wood. There, there's no gaps in here around the base plate at all, and everything is okay. Um, obviously, if you have one of these, remember you want to wax in here as well. You want to protect this piece in here. Uh, but yeah, it's done all very well. The only thing I will say is that this is a little bit of a, a dust catcher in here. I like the design. I really like the design and the look. But uh, you know, when you're holding it, you you know, it, it does get dirty in here. So yes, just bear that in mind. Uh, this part that we have here, uh, this is buffalo horn. And you would have seen on the, the page that I showed you earlier on, you can choose other woods and other materials for here. But the one I have is buffalo horn, and I'm trying to get it in the right light just so you can see this. Because it just kind of looks black when you're looking at it, but it's, God, it's gorgeous. Uh, also, one thing I really do like is the fact that this is, uh, they've actually polished bit of plexiglass here so it's not just the board screen uh, it's actually behind a bit of glass which I like uh, well that's upside down art and mod and there you go DNA 60 you you'll all know the DNA 60 board uh, so we have uh, our base plate which is 303 stainless steel and one thing they have done here which I really like is that the exterior here is highly polished but they have brushed the base. Which when you've got a mod like this, I, I, I do appreciate that because you're less likely to, you know, you're not gonna notice any scratches in the bottom because it's been brushed. Uh, also the buttons that we have here, these are onyx and uh, gold dust 
or gold powder I should say and that's more apparent if you look at the button the firing button here obviously it's a thumb or a side firer so you're just going to fire like that it's nice and clicky no issues with the firing button and there we go I mean that is you can see where that I'm going on about the whole Art Deco thing here, or hopefully you can. But uh, I, I just this 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 works for me. This this is just such a pretty pretty mod. Uh, I do like this an awful lot. I think I've seen one of the the HRB ones that they do, uh, and it's a gorgeous wood. It really suits this design. But I'm very very happy with this one that I have here. As far as atomizers go, uh, I've got the, my skyline here. And I'll just pop that on, screw it down, and there we go. Now this is a skyline with a tank extension kit on it that I have, uh, but you can see how far that sticks out there. So once again, obviously, your atty is always going to stick out past here unless you have a really, really short one. Just going to screw on this. Excuse the fact that I've got lip gunk and everything on it, but this is the, obviously the Har RTA. That's a 4mm capacity tank. Uh, one thing I also want to point out is that you'll see there is a slight recess. Uh, just, you know, the 510. See the 510 plate? Sits just below there. Now, obviously, um, your air hole, you know, a, a 22mm fits in there perfectly and it leaves you plenty of space behind. Um, it's an adjustable 510, so you, if you want your tank to sit, you know, the logos lining up, you can back the 510 off and things like that and reposition it try and find a smaller tank to show you. So here is the Smuggler. That possibly suits it a lot better than the ones I've been vaping with. But there we go, there's the Smuggler. There's an Integra. Uh, just to give you another example of an Atty. And I'll finish off with this, the Vampire uh, Eos, which I think looks gorgeous on it. Really, really nice. Now, those of you that know me, you know that I, I, I could gush all day about mods like this, and I, I'll tell you how much I love them and how pretty they are. But, as always, I'm going to point out things that maybe I'm not a fan of, or maybe I don't like, or faults I have found. Now, I will say that this, this really does work for me. Um, I have no issues with 510s, battery caps, getting atties on here. You can see once again that there's plenty of air getting around the back of that 22mm. Uh, it's all good and the finishing on it is done very, very well. The only thing I have to point out, and it's the one thing that does niggle me a little bit, is that on my one here, now once again there is a lot of hand finishing goes on with this. Uh, so for me, you can see here, now this is straight. Uh, but you can see that this, you might not see it actually, uh, there is a little bit of a, a, an angle, it's not totally vertical and this line here is followed by the line on the button. So looking at this bit of wood and this button here, it's actually, they don't all run parallel to one another. So this bit of wood here and this button are, it, to my eye, uh, do look a little bit squint if I follow this line here. And I'll talk about that more back up top. So a little bit of uh, plugging here, but obviously there we have the, the har on top there, 22 mil, it's a four mil capacity tank. Thumb firing here, side firing. Uh, obviously it's, this is one thing I'm not sure of. I'd have to check, I, I can't think of any reason why not, but I'm sure if you were left-handed that they would put the firing button on the other side. That was something you'd have to discuss with the modder, but uh, yes, if you were left-handed, you would want the firing button on this side. But anyway, let's have a vape. I, I love this mod. I really do. I'm a huge Art Deco. I love Art Deco. Um, and this just, yeah, it's so nice and pretty. It really is. It's so pretty. Uh, and the, the wood and the, the buffalo horn and everything. And the fact that, you know, they've got this is polished, so highly polished. And the brushing that's been done here. Uh, the fact that the buttons here as well are the same material as the firing button. I, I, I could... 
go on about this mod all day and, and tell you how beautiful I think it is. And, and I hope that seeing it up close in the, the up close section is you can appreciate why I love this mod so much. And I could quite happily just end the video there and thank the guys and, and that would be that done. But I do have to, no matter how much I love this mod, I do have to be completely honest with you and say, as I did in the close ups, um, this is not cheap. It's not a cheap mod, uh, but it's as always, it's down to your budget. Um, I mean, this in this spec is, is over a thousand euros. Um, and to a lot of people, that's just a drop in the ocean. To lots of other people, it's, yeah, they're not going to pay that money for a, an electronic cigarette. But that's not my place to talk about that. The thing that bugs me is that this line here is different to this line here and to this line here. They, they don't line up and they're, they're they're out a little bit and for me if I was to have spent my own money on a mod and as much as I know that the uh, hand finished mods or mods that have had hand finishing involved at the end there will be some small discrepancies you will get little pocket marks and wood and things like that that just shows you that these things are not mass produced and and I don't have issues with that but for me and the way I like things to line up, uh, that would eat away at me. And um, and so I'm going to list that as my con for this mod. And that's just for my mod. Because I have seen some of the other mods uh, that they have produced that don't have that issue that I have on mine. I have to mention it. I can't just gush non-stop about a mod and not tell you about the things that I've come across. Outside that issue, I so love this. I really do so love this. Uh, the design is is just, if you're an Art Deco kind of person and you like that look, then this is just gorgeous. It's a beautiful mod, it really is. Uh, that's it. Once again, I, I would suggest that you go and try and get into the Facebook group and, uh, and you'll just see other materials that, for the buttons, for the base plate and the wood and so on. Speak to other owners and uh, and if you don't know the company, speak with the modders as well. Sometimes that's a, a, that's a good idea to speak with a modder before you buy from them. I would always say that. But uh, yeah, that's it. I just want to say a thank you to Alessandro for who's answered every single question I've thrown at him about this mod. Thank you so, so much, mate. And thank you for sending it on in the first place. To you guys, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time.